Obscene gestures and bad language continue to mar state parliament months after rules were introduced to curb bad behaviour. The opposition claims its MPs have been victimised for trifling interjections, while the government gets away with much worse. Not pointing the finger at anyone in particular, parliamentary standards are at an all-time low. The member for Bragg will leave the chamber for 10 minutes. The member for Chafee will also leave the chamber for 10 minutes for shouting at the speaker. Since question time was reformed in February to allow the Speaker to evict rowdy members without warning, opposition MPs have been shunted 30 times to the government's zero. <laughs> That's not because we are so much worse behaved than the government. I think the behaviour has been appalling on the other side of the House. That's despite incidents like this from Water Minister Paul Kiker yesterday. The Minister was just engaged in some very obvious physical gestures to the opposition. I did scratch my head with my finger like this, Madam Speaker. Thank if that you. was construed, I apologise. When you're greeted with being given the finger across the chamber, then understandably, my lot get pretty upset. Well, I don't accept that. I mean, I think, I mean, he, to the extent that uh, that uh, happened or was perceived to have happened, he apologised. Both sides then acknowledge standards are yet to improve. The government blames the opposition. The opposition blames the government. So much like your standard day in Parliament. Labor still preaching, if not practicing, orderly conduct. If that involves disciplining people on my side of the parliament, I'm prepared to do that. But I that just hasn't think, been happening. Well, I think our, our side of parliament has been better behaved. Tom Richardson, 9 News.